I'm CEO at Roof Above, and that means lots of different hats, but really kind of what I most cherish is a chance to be a vision caster for this mission um, and really to support the team that's on the ground, um, not just uh, fulfilling our mission and providing services, but really dreaming new dreams for uh, what we're called to do in this community. When I was 18 years old, uh, my dad was uh, transferred to Singapore. I spent the summer before college with him, and I got to experience Christianity from kind of an outside perspective where it was the minority religion, and I had a very significant faith experience, which has really shaped my life. And I think from that moment has been trying to live out um, that experience. You know, working with her, I think what it's shown me is all about the mission. I don't think I have met, and I've met many people working in the social services field and here lately into housing and homelessness, but I have really not met anybody that really stands shoulder to shoulder with her with the passion and the compassion that she has behind the mission of ending homelessness. And so when I have had the opportunity to have conversations with her or hear her speak, it, there's always something, there's always light shed it on something new. Uh, she really is a student of, of housing and homelessness. And I think that shows in her leadership. I think from kind of moment one of the pandemic, we have been bracing for an increase in homelessness. If you live in Charlotte, just from a street level, it certainly has the appearance of an increase um, because uh, tent communities are much more visible, are much more congregated. What all of the data indicates is not that we're seeing an increase in homelessness. And to me, um, it's really about public policy that has worked. The greatest travesty would be if we don't learn all that there is to learn from COVID. I mean, the reality is people are dying. Um, people are suffering great loss. And um, the best way to honor that loss is to learn everything we can from this experience we're having. So much of what we do involves crowds. Um, so much of homeless services is, you know, there's not enough of what you do, so you crowd people together. There's long lines for services. Um, everything involves people and people being close together. So we really had to pivot on a dime and, and alter our operations. Um, but we didn't want to just be safer. We really wanted to figure out what are the opportunities in this moment and how can we step up for the community in a different way. We have a sign that says, uh, change is hard, but it's worth it. The people we serve are doing really phenomenal work every day, facing things and face like needing to change. And so kind of we owe it to the folks we served as an organization to be able to change. There are lots of people who care about housing and homelessness, and some people are on the edges of understanding and other people are deeply immersed. But, you know, Liz really understands it. And she not just works within a vacuum here locally, say in Charlotte, Mecklenburg, she really understands and learns from other areas, whether it be internationally or nationally. Again, I think that speaks to her uh, being a true student. And I think uh, that's what makes her so impressive is that she wants to learn. She wants to learn, she wants to understand data. Uh, she, wonder, she wants to understand what's what really the causes here because if we're gonna make systemic changes or really make an impact, uh, she wants to go to those root problems. What keeps me grounded and going is similar. Um, so that is my faith. And I have a deep belief that all people are created in the image of God and in this work, um, I feel like I get to see that every day. This work is very joy giving. It's what I feel called to do. There's a great quote from Frederick Buechner, um, vocation is where your great joy and the world's great need intersect. And that's what this work feels like to me. I love the scripture, truth will set you free. And I think truth telling, you know, is a road towards liberation for us all. I think, you know, uh, when we don't live right with each other, there's a cost to everyone in that equation. And so I think people knowing and speaking their truth helps free everyone to, to be more fully who we're created to be.